guys welcome back to another well it's not an episode of anime review technically but uh today is i guess kind of the final episode of anime review season one but kind of not um so yeah so today i've got my my notes right here and we're doing like a recap of every episode we've done um all of our reviews that we've done this season uh some of them i felt like i didn't uh give an accurate score or my opinion on it has changed slightly and I would score it differently now so I went I really went back and looked at all of them and um gave all of them a score uh, a new score uh, some of them may not have changed some of them might have changed um but yeah I'm gonna go through these and uh I'm gonna talk to you guys about it and uh yeah I'll see you guys in just a sec now I'm not going to be talking about it or dwelling on a specific episode for uh, too long because I don't want it to be like an hour long video. Um, also, speaking of that, another thing you might have noticed is I'm actually now able, I figured out how to make videos that aren't exclusively 50, up to 15 minutes long. I can now make videos that are longer than 15 minutes. I don't know how long, how much longer, uh, but yeah, I can do that now. Um, but yeah, episode one uh, we did was Seven Deadly Sins season one. Um, a lot of the, I can't remember a lot of the details because of some of these I've uh, watched uh, months ago. Uh, I know with Seven Deadly Sins I watched what was that summer? Probably like probably almost a year ago now that I've watched it. Um, I can't wait for that new season to come out this coming summer. Um, for in English at least because uh, I don't think they have the sub on the American Netflix um, I might have to check back on that um, but yeah uh, Seven Deadly Sins Season 1 uh, I forgot what I gave it originally same with a lot of these I forgot what I gave it originally um, but I gave it an 8 out of 10 uh, Season 1 wasn't my favorite season uh, and it was, but it was actually still pretty good. Um, see, so yeah, I gave it an 8 out of 10. It wasn't the greatest thing I've ever seen, and there's better stuff out there, so 8 out of 10. Um, episode 2 we did was the original Naruto series. Um, yeah, I did, I was supposed to do like a collab with my friend, uh, some dude or Eli. Uh, that ended up not actually happening kind of but um because we couldn't uh work out like how to do it uh so he just gave me his opinions on it and i wrote them down and i told you guys what he thought about it and what i thought about it um but maybe one of these days we'll get him on the show um it's going to be a little bit more difficult now since we live in different states um but before it would have been easier we just couldn't figure out how to do it um but yeah so uh, I gave the original Naruto as a whole a uh, 5.5 out of 10, which honestly is a pretty bad score. Um, yeah, I would even maybe go as far as to say, mm, I don't know, I'd probably actually give it between a 5.5 and a 6 out of 10. Just because uh, so much of it is filler. Um, so, so much of it, it's just so drawn out, and the overall vibe is pretty boring at parts. Uh, me personally, I started watching Naruto Shippuden, uh, just a little bit ago. I'm barely through it, I've barely scratched the surface. I'm, like, almost finished with the first arc, uh, which, um, I'll probably get into in Season 2, uh, of Anime Review. But, um, yeah, uh, Naruto the original as a whole the only parts worth watching are probably i'd say probably watch between season one and season six like uh after the whole sasuke recovery mission thing like after that season uh i forget what episode it is uh probably like episode 300 something uh yeah, after the whole Orochimaru, like, Sasuke recovery mission part, uh, like, once that arc comes to a close, there's really no need to watch any further. I mean, it's all the same crap, really. 
and you're not missing out on much if you just skip ahead to Naruto Shippuden. I went ahead and watched further, a little bit further, and then I just said screw it and uh, went ahead and watched uh, Shippuden, and I missed out on nothing, honestly. Um, so, yeah, five out of five, or five point five out of between five point five and six out of ten. Um, episode three we did. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm. I should probably get some water. Hold on one second. All right, now I have my water here so my mouth isn't dry as I'm talking. Um, but episode three. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm. I don't know. My mouth just feels dry. Um, One Punch Man season one. Still haven't seen season two yet. Um, I gave it a nine point five out of ten. I personally, I watched it subbed because I didn't have Hulu at the time. I will, probably would have watched it dubbed if I had Hulu, uh, but I only had Netflix at, at the time, so I watched it sub. Uh, honestly, don't care. I, I don't care about the whole sub versus dub argument. Um, I'll watch it dubbed if they have the dubbed version because it's the language I understand. Uh, but if sub if dubbed isn't available, I don't care. I'll just watch subbed. I honestly don't care at all um but yeah one punch man subbed uh not that it matters uh season one is pretty fire i heard season two wasn't as good i'll still watch it though um uh yeah so and also that's another thing season two of one punch man uh isn't on netflix either uh but yeah um 9.5 out of 10 has a fire opening um uh, what else, just the overall destruction scale, it's just crazy, like, how powerful Saitama is, and just, I don't know, it's pretty funny, if you know, like, the whole, um, the, the battle against Sonic, when he, like, punches him in the nuts, or whatever, that was hilarious, uh, it's honestly kind of violent, but, like, if, in the first episode with the crab, when he just rips its eye out, and it, like, takes out all of its guts, uh, it's pretty brutal, but overall, just a really funny show, and just really cool and entertaining to watch. Uh, I thought the the sub was pretty good. Uh, yeah, so that's One Punch Man, nine point five out of ten. Um, episode four covered Toradora. Uh, Toradora was my first like uh, slice of life slash romance anime, kinda. Uh, I don't know exactly what you would classify it as. I guess it, it's definitely a romance anime, I guess. Um, but I really liked it. Um, again, not like... There's definitely some stuff that I would rather watch than it. But, like, it's not bad. And it's r quite good. Uh, again, I watched it dubbed. I mean, just assume that I watched it dubbed, honestly. Because, I mean, most of these I watched dubbed. But... Uh, very good. Uh, there was, like, it wasn't action-packed or anything. I mean, it was just kind of chill and a nice change of change of pace to what I'm used to. Because, um, as you can see, everything before that, you know, Naruto, One Punch Man, and Seven Deadly Sins, you know, definitely action-packed anime. Uh, Toradora was a nice change of pace. It definitely was quite funny. Um... Yeah, 8.5 out of 10. I'm sure it's not the best slice of life or romance anime out there, but I personally really liked it. Um, episode 5, Demon Slayer represent. Like, Demon Slayer, call it overrated. Call it, uh, just call it trash even. Like, I don't care. Demon Slayer was freaking good. Like, uh definitely one of the better modern animes to come out uh fire opening fire ending um or fire ed not ending as an ending of the show but the the ed um the, love the characters love the just the overall uh like the time period and the uh vibe kind of uh just the subject matter in general fire show 
uh, would highly recommend if you haven't seen it already. Um, personally, again, I actually watched this one sub um, before. What was it? It was probably spring. No, nah, I would not spring. I think it was it was summer of 2020 during uh, the lockdown crap. Um, I think it was into fall honestly that's how late i watched it um but yeah uh i watched it pretty quickly and i didn't have hulu at the time which is what it was on and i didn't have or it wasn't on netflix at the time so i'm just gonna say i've watched it on a pirated website uh, i don't know if it's actually pirated or not but there's a website called anime flicks uh yeah it's pretty fire uh especially like you could just open it in your browser and watch. Uh, the problem with anime flicks, though, is that some episodes aren't available. And there was only one episode that I never saw of Demon Slayer. And that was the, um... There was one episode, like, if you guys remember, when they're in the house with the, the demon that, like, has, like, the bongos and it changes the room. There was the episode where they actually fight it and beat it. Like, when they, from the closing of that part, I didn't see that episode, but I did see the episode, all of the other episodes. Um, and since it's come to Netflix and in dub, uh, when I work out, I watch, um, I watch Demon Slayer while I'm working out. Because, I, I mean, I've already seen it, uh, so it's not, like, one that I have to pay attention to, like... Because uh, if I haven't seen an anime, I wouldn't want to watch it while I'm working out. I want to be able to, like, you know, sit down and actually watch it. Uh, but yeah, I'm watching it. I'm watching it dubbed right now. I restarted it. I'm just kind of watching it on the side. Um, 10 out of 10 anime, honestly. Uh, great fights. Uh, it's very well animated. Uh, just, like, I. I it's crazy, like, it's just so good, and a lot of people say it's extremely overrated, it probably is, but it's so good, I don't care, um, well, let me get a drink of water real quick, ah, episode 6 though, Akame Got Kill, now, Akame Got Kill, I think, if you've heard anybody talk about it on the internet, at least the majority of people that talk about it, I'd say what they say about it is pretty accurate. Like, it's not bad, but it's like, it's more bad than it is good, but it's not bad. Like, I gave it a solid 6 out of 10. It was somewhat entertaining. Both OPs are fire. Uh, this OP2 is better. I don't remember the EDs. I think they were honestly kind of trash, but uh, both OPs were very good. Um, it has, I don't know. I feel like there's just so much more they could have done with it, uh, and they just ended it. And I, the ending was trash. Uh, spoiler alert: everybody freaking dies. And um, yeah, it wasn't great. It wasn't. I wouldn't say it was good. But it, it was kind of okay. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, episode 7, we got Full Metal Alchemist of Brotherhood. Now, uh, this is just one of those that, like, most, a lot of these anime, I'm not going to lie, uh, I watched during the lockdown or quarantine or whatever, just because I was extremely bored. Uh, I'd say about, what is this, 1, uh, 5... Like, probably, hmm, I don't know, I'd say like 90%, 90 or 80% of these I've watched, I've watched during quarantine, um, which is crazy, um, but yeah, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is one of those, and I've heard some people say it was boring, and I mean, if you... I mean, you you guys probably know what I'm going to say about it. If you didn't see the episode I did on it, uh, 10 out of 10. Like, if if the, the My Anime List rankings are anything to go by, you know, by popularity, this is in the top 5. And by, like, 
what people have scored it. It's ranked number one globally. Um, and that's for good reason. It's freaking amazing. Um, I might read the manga. Might not. Um, right now I'm trying to get all the Demon Slayer volumes. Which at the end of this video I got something uh, to show you guys. Um, but yeah. Uh, I might try and get all of the... Um, I forget exactly what you call them. But there's like the hardcover where they put like not the hardcover i might try and get the hardcovers i could but they're quite expensive or when they put like all the different like three different volumes into one book um might do that um but yeah full metal alchemist brotherhood was just so good uh it was just that one show that i feel like i kind of needed at the time like uh i don't know there's not much to say about it other than good things and that it's great um, so yeah, that's what I have to say about it. Um, episode 8, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 1. I'm gonna kind of speed this up here. because uh, we've got a lot of JoJo to talk about. Part 8, or I'm, I'm at Part 1, uh, Episode 8. Um, not, it was good. I, I'm just gonna say it was good. Uh, too much talking. Uh, not enough do. Uh, 8 out of 10. Uh, you know, Kono Dio Da, like, epic meme. Uh, episode 9, we had JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 2. Um, 8.5 out of 10. Funnier, uh, definitely better than Part 1. Uh, but still, just so much talking. Um, yeah, 8.5 out of 10. Uh, episode 10, uh, we took a break from JoJo episodes. Sword Art Online 1. Uh, give it a 7 out of 10. I kind of went on for a little bit on this one in the actual episode. Uh, I mean, say what you will about Sword Art Online. For me, it was like one of, it was like the first big anime I watched, uh, years ago. And it's just extremely nostalgic for me. I've watched better stuff. I've watched worse stuff. Um... I just gave it a solid 7 out of 10. Just the, purely like that first season. Or not first season, but like Sora Online 1. I'm not talking about Elysiation or Elysiation War of the Underworld or even Sora Online 2. Just Sora Online 1, 7 out of 10. Uh, the idea behind it, great. Uh, it was, I think season or the Sora Online 1 uh, was executed well. And definitely went downhill from there. But... Just purely based off that first part, if you will, 7 out of 10. Um, episode 11, we covered My Hero Academia seasons 1 through 4. I uh, gave it a 9 out of 10. Uh, what can I say? I have all of the volumes uh, up to date right now. I'm going to pre-order that new one that's supposed to come out in April. Um, yeah, no. Uh, fire. Absolutely fire. Uh, I think the voice acting in it is great on um, this one i watched both sub and dub uh, i got all caught up with it uh i remember what was it it was like i watched it all uh i watched it all dubbed until season three came out and then or no i watched it like halfway through or like less than halfway through season three and then when the i think i, th I think at least uh, this one, parts of season three were still, uh, subbed. Um, it was before the dub came out for parts of season three. And, yeah, I watched season three through four, uh, subbed. Um, yeah, uh, it's great. Um, again, uh, a lot of people don't like My Hero Academia. I've seen a lot of people not like it because of the fan base. In which I have to say to that, I don't judge an anime based off of the people who like it. I judge it based off of what I think about it. Um, but yeah, My Hero Academia fan base as a whole is still pretty cringe. Uh, but the show and the manga series itself uh, is great. I love the characters. I uh, love the, the idea. Uh, definitely one of the best like superhero like works out there, I think. Um, definitely, I personally like My Hero Academia 
more than I do Marvel as a whole, honestly. Uh, I f honestly, like, uh, yeah. So, I keep saying honestly. I need to stop. Uh, 9 out of 10, seasons 1 through 4. There are some seasons that are better than others. I think season 2 with the, the stain arc, that one was probably my favorite season. Um, season 4 was very good. Uh, season 3 was, season 1 was good. They were all good, but, um, yeah, overall 9 out of 10. Uh, we're just gonna have to see how well they execute season 5 when that comes out. Uh, I don't think it's come out subbed yet. I don't know when it's gonna come out. I saw it, uh, the, the picture for it on my anime list, uh, but I don't know when it's supposed to come out. Um, I'll get back to you guys on that, uh, but, yeah. Uh, episode 12, we back on that JoJo. Um, so part three, my favorite part, sorry, um, 9.5 out of 10. Uh, the reason being, uh, just the overall, I don't know, I keep saying the overall vibe. Uh, and there's just a lot of memes for it, uh, which I think is great. Um, I don't know, I just really like the characters. It was the introduction of Stans, which changed JoJo forever, like, onwards. Like, before we had Hamon, which was, like, the main focus. And now stands like they just threw it in out of nowhere, and they're just like what? And stands are great. Uh, my personal favorite stands are like um, Star Platinum, uh, Golden Experience Requiem, and uh, Zipper Man or not Zipper Man? Sorry, Sticker Sticky Fingers. Um, yeah, I think those are all stands are great, and this is the introduction of something great. Uh, Jotaro, uh, is my favorite character, and this was his first part, part three Jotaro, personal favorite character, uh, 9.5 out of 10, uh, part four, I gave it a 9 out of 10, still very good, uh, it just, um, it was kind of like an eerie vibe, an eerie feeling, uh, watching it, it was just definitely just a weird part, um, Probably, I'd say the most bizarre part. Uh, I had ten. It was I. I, I liked uh, part three more just because like the whole quest aspect and then go into all these different locations. Uh, but yeah, part four was still really good. We gave it a nine out of ten, and then part five uh, for episode fourteen, nine point five out of ten. They hit us back with the uh, the quest part. Uh, the quest. Um, the quest formula, I guess, where they go all the different areas. Uh, we get Requiem stands. We get, uh, we just get more, more OP stands, and just the way it was executed is really cool. Uh, we got Silver Chariot. That's all I'm going to say if you haven't seen it. Silver Chariot, uh, Requiem, uh, pretty epic. Um,. Yeah, so it, it appears that I forgot to write down something for the last episode. So I'm going to take a break right here. Uh, yeah, I'll be right back. So I totally forgot about something uh, for the video. Uh, so yeah, we're back now, I guess, uh, for our final part. And that is episode 15. Uh, we did Death Note. That was just yesterday. And I stand by everything I said. Um... I give it a 7.5 out of 10, and I agree with myself a day ago. Uh, so, overall, Death Note, I felt was unsatisfying. It was suspenseful, which I liked. It kept me at the edge of my seat. There was a lot of plot twists, and there was a lot of just um, stuff happening. A lot of big brain moves that happened in, in that show. But what I don't like is how people classify it in as a shonen and it's even a shonen jump anime slash manga series which i just don't understand like how are you gonna have dude writes in book be a shonen alongside uh ninjas fighting each other superheroes punching each other and then just alien man in orange jumpsuit that blows up planets like 
you see you see what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand how uh, Death Note is a shonen. Uh, also, I just didn't like the plot. The whole, um, the light's um, ideology and reason behind doing everything is just kind of dumb. And the whole, I don't know, it's, I feel like it's not very good in the plot department. And I guess that's fine. A lot of people love it. I understand why. Uh, I just, it wasn't my favorite, I wasn't, I wasn't super, I, I mean, after I watched it, I wasn't like, oh my gosh, this was a great anime, I was just kind of like, it was pretty good, uh, so yeah, that's where, uh, we leaving this off, uh, that was Anime Review Season 1, finally closed out, supposed to be closed, like, a month ago now. Uh, between me procrastinating and me getting grounded at one point, uh, it didn't happen like that. So, finally over. It's February 1st. Uh, we started this series mid to late August. So, how many months is that? Like, September, October, November, December, January. So, that was like five months ago. Almost half a year ago we started this series, which is crazy. Um... Yeah, season two, I'll probably drop, uh, I don't know, next weekend, probably. Either that or, like, Valentine's Day or something. I, I kind of want to do it uh, next weekend. Uh, just don't expect videos as often, like, at least anime review episodes. Um, the reason I was trying to upload them so much was because I was just trying to get them out to finish the season. But, yeah, so, yeah, uh gonna spread them out a lot more probably do it like a i don't know once every three weeks or something like that i don't know i'll probably just upload them when i feel like uploading them uh but i probably definitely not doing like a two a day thing um at least with the anime review now i wanted to end this video uh showing you guys a few things i picked up uh, i told you guys about this in like one of the other videos probably like I think it was episode 14, uh, the JoJo Part 5 episode, I can't remember, uh, but my package came in the mail today, and I got Demon Slayer's Volume 5 and Volume 6, uh, so I only need one more, and I think that covers everything that has happened in the anime, um, haven't started reading Demon Slayer yet. Uh, I'm probably going to wait until at least I get the 7th volume, so I can at least read up all of the anime so far. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, at one point, I'm going to get all of the volumes for Demon Slayer since it's over, the series is over. Uh, there's only 23, and yeah, so I'm going to get them all, um, might do reviews i don't think so honestly because i bet there's like millions of reviews out there already for this i'm still working on my hero academia i usually don't read a lot on the weekends i got school tomorrow which means i'll probably do some more reading in my spare time uh, i'll probably get the volume 26 this week uh, at least by the end of the week i think and i may or may not still do a manga review episode not sure about that yet but uh, once I get there, I'll let you guys know. And you guys will know by if I upload a video on it or not. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this recap. Just an updated scoring for Season 1. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing my opinions will change over time even more so than they have here. Uh, but yeah, that this is it uh, for Season 1. Uh, like I said, new video coming out. Uh... Either this coming weekend. I think I'll do it this coming weekend. That's what I meant by next weekend. Uh, this coming weekend. Uh, but yeah. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.